All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back on this lovely Friday, the last day of the pay period. It's great to be back. Um, had some fun. Vacation, August, beautiful weather. I was scorching hot here. But uh, now I came back uh, for the last weekend of summer, which is going to be our Labor Day. So we're going to have some fun, talk a little bit about it, what's going on. A lot of big news that's going out. I want to talk about a couple of things and uh, got a couple of stocks on the watch list. But most importantly, I want to make sure you guys know how to trade before a major, major holiday. One of the biggest holidays um, um, of the year because the market's closed on Monday. It's the last day of summer. People are getting – kids are already going back to college. Kids are starting school already. Um, so you're going to start getting a lot of action. And we are going into the best time of the year to make most of your money, which is September, October, and November. Okay? Like I always say to everyone, you could just trade those three months and you could take the rest of the nine months off. And that is the most important. So – it's important you guys learned as much as you can and enjoyed your vacation because now it's time to put our hat on. But let's see how we're going to be trading going into uh, this major, major holiday. Now, obviously, you can see there are a lot of stocks that um, that are moving, but there's not a lot out there. Now, a lot of people are going to be taking off. A lot of people started going away yesterday. I can't believe how much traffic there was in my area. Uh, people already already heading out to the Hamptons and stuff like that and going away. But um, – but it, uh, it, you know, the, with that said, market's still open. A lot of you probably think it's going to be quiet, and uh, you know, with assistance in and stuff like that, you, you, you're going to get some action on certain stocks, and that's where all of us in the cyber group room have to work together like a team. Now, let's talk about what did move before we go through the watch list. Let's talk about. Um, what moved yesterday? I know some of you guys did pretty well. The big winner was uh, this C. Um, well, this, this CRON, which is, by the way, it's starting to pick back up. I know a lot of you already found it early in pre-market, but this stock took a big hit from third. It had such a huge rally. You can see on a long-term chart, um, we've been trading it, but this stock went from six all the way to about 13. Took a major, major hit yesterday. Backed off at major support levels. Now the stock, as you can see, it's starting to come back a little bit. It's got some. Uh, not too crazy about the head shakes right there. A lot you can see we have a lot of highs and lows right here, and uh, but it, it does got some good volatility. It's got a decent spread for all of us. This is a two category to a three. Great iceberg. Look at the matrix. Great great iceberg orders out there. So um, a lot better with great volume. 1.8 million shares already traded. So the stock is going to be very volatile. Now, how do we trade the stock? Guys, this is a scalping stock. Do not try to swing this stock on an intraday. Um, take your money and run. This is the only best advice we always give all our traders, um, especially a day like today. CGC is another one. By the way, that stock, uh, CRON, is going to make the watch list. C, uh, CGC, another big winner. A lot of you guys have done great, not only including on the day trade, but it's also been a great swing trade going from 25 to 45. You can see it stocks got great, great push. Um, it's got great pre-market also. Stock already ran from uh, 30, 43, 80 to 45, but it's got a big spread. You got it, it already shows you it's in a four category, so you want to be careful with that one. AMBA, another one. Uh, I'm sorry, not that one. AMD, we we're going to talk about that one yesterday. That's one for today. AMD also been a great, great swing trade. Very, very volatile. It's 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 almost sometimes got into the three category, but uh, stock has been done very, very well. It's been a big push, backed off already, took a little bit of a hit, but uh, profit taking. As long I know they came out with some great news. As long as it's ho holding here, that's how that's how you're going to know if it's going to be continue as a swing trade. But uh, overall, as a day trade, that one did pretty well. ANF, another stock uh, got decimated down to 28 down to 22 and let me just fix the time frame over here so you can see a little bit better but that stock was just a great short just kept tanking 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 and uh it's coming close to support levels around 21 so i'm gonna put it on my watch list you know maybe you'll get a little dead cat bounce usually that happens 
a day or two after. But let's see how she trades going into this morning. This could make a little bit of a comeback. Now, what we're um, – because it's stock this just took a major, major hit. And you can see the support levels here. And if you look here down in the matrix, you can see you got some already programmed trading already set there. Now, a couple of the stocks that we found this morning that are going to be moving, ACBC. Stock gapped up huge yesterday. You can see it went from uh, nine dollars all the way to twelve. Stock, uh, you know, took a little bit of a hit here long term from July, dropped all the way down. But stock is up twenty one percent, one hundred eighty three thousand shares. You already got six. Look at all these iceberg orders on a buy. So the stock looks really, really strong. It's testing yesterday's. Uh, resistance levels actually you can see it was ho hovering right around here around the 1150 so that's a great great buy if the stock holds it pretty strong it could go right back up but stock is um looks so far to me looks like one of the better ones now i know th the big news this morning is lulu lulu came out earning stock took off big it is just on fire lulu was at four, uh, 40 50 dollars at the beginning of this year it's already at 140 been a great 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 swing trade i can't believe you know it's so funny there are so many stocks out there that um that uh regard you know in the garment industry i wouldn't i mean we got uh kenneth you got kenneth cole you got uh you got you got uh um Shoes come Steve Madden, you have, you know, Macy's, you got all these Coles. Who would ever thought Lulu would be at these price levels? But apparently they're doing great. They're doing great. A lot of people love it. And, uh, you know, like I said, these are things we want to learn on our swing trading course. But anyway, stock's doing good. You got to be a level five to trade it because we already broke the $100 barrier. So just be careful of that one. AMBA, I think we just talked about that one, took a big, big hit. Look for that little dead cat bounce right there. That one looks like it's making a little bit of a comeback. 40 down to 34, starting to make a little bit of comeback. Listen, we know um, when it comes to stocks. The biggest thing we always always focus on when stocks get crushed, like pharmaceutical stocks, they usually don't come back. So, you know, so always remember, is it a pharmaceutical? Is it not pharmaceutical? And that's the way you have to look at it. H, uh, VHC is another one we found that's, that's moving this morning, too. Gapped up pretty big, low on the cheaper side where a lot of you guys can afford it. This stock, you got a lot of you remember, we watched the stock from five, dropped down to a buck, uh, made a little bit of a comeback. So the stock's very volatile. Great iceberg orders. You could see over there in the matrix all over the place. 2,800, 1,000, 1,000, 1,700 buyers. So we definitely got good volatility there. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Uh, last, last on my list, VCO. Is the one I found. Is it coming up? No, I'm sorry. That's the wrong one. So ANF, we got that one. All right, we got ANF. We're going to keep an eye on that. All right, so there's our list of stocks, guys, that we found. They all look pretty decent. Uh, EA is getting killed. Bank of America downgraded it. Benito. Uh, EA Sports. You know what else is getting killed, too, is uh, another one that's getting killed is um, uh, what should we call it? Sometimes you got to listen to your kids that do gaming, but uh, not even just this one. Uh, what was it? GameStop. Another one getting killed. A lot of kids are not buying video games anymore. They're all buying, you know, they all want high end computers and uh, they're buying all these games online. So, yeah, that, that market's taking a big, big hit. So, anyway, stock was 150, you know, at major support levels right now. See how it holds. But uh, but overall, it's not really doing too well. So, I agree with you. Uh, a couple of the stocks that you guys are shooting out there. IDTI, put, bring that up there right now. I don't know why it's there. It goes. Little, you know, stock has been on a nice little push right here. It's gapped up. I, I, you know, I saw this stock, but she started backing off. I'll put it on the watch list. Listen, let me just tell you, it's Friday. It's the last day of the pay period. Okay, nobody wants to become a cowboy. No one's going out there with, you know, and diving in, you know, with, you know, diving in in cold water. Uh, they, they want to close out the month really good. It was a great August. The market did phenomenal. It broke 16, 26,000 on the Dow. You know, Amazon broke 2,000. You know, the market is doing great. And by the way, I got some some – some big news to tell you next week about the November elections. You guys are probably – you're going to love it or you're going to hate it. But if you're a trader, you're going to be drooling in your mouth. We'll talk about that next week when I meet a couple of friends of mine, um, traders from some major brokerage firms at my country club this weekend. Um, 
gonna I'm gonna I want to pick their brain. I'll let you guys know what's going on. So you have to wait till next week to hear that that news. But in the meantime, guys, don't get too crazy. There's a there there are quite quite a few stocks. Make your days pay today. This is how you trade the day. Um, uh, what, what do they call it? Um, uh, Labor Day Eve, we call it. <laughs> you know, but uh, but you know, people want to enjoy the last day of summer. They're gonna they, their summer houses are gonna be done. And a lot of people already went away, but there are a couple of things that are moving. But don't get too cocky. And not only where you have a double whammy, it is the last day of the pay period. So what do we do? What we taught you in class, review your journals, see if you're ready to go to the next level, and just fasten your seatbelt because September is going to be if, – if we're having what's going on and then we're going to this election year, we're going to have a crazy, volatile, unbelievable market condition. All right, guys? All right, guys. Good luck today. Happy trading. If I don't see you going to this close, enjoy your weekend. Please drink and drive safe. Want to see you back here. And uh, like I said, we'll uh, and let's get ready for the new year. I mean, well, September to me is like the new year. But hopefully uh, we'll see how it goes. Thanks, everyone. See you at the 2.30 meeting.